fie chia me hene e yo ni mounyam fwo a bamba gbe yi. Na ono e na wache se. E nyuma a wang kasa ye wong e nyuma. Anase e jume kuwa wano a e dan wong nan e aban wong jume diye mu a provokase mo fwo civil society organization yon. E ba e jine se ni nyo ma ye biye mu a. Wade wane ma bebre e na abuwa ye nti wong to se. Aban yi biyo te su wano ube bon kontapa a imu da hokro jen e de ache gana fwo. I say, one in our Abua Emma, or Mino and Cancro Aconanim, or Nyan for Abambagui, adding someone to dry our bra. Now, all your name, dear and church, sir, and what we are saying of an engine at the Abuano sign at the Akai and Rashabedra, a Jumadi, or we are self an engine. And all best who is here to appreciate the role and impact of civil society on societal well being. Still has a long way to go. It is important for all of us to recognize that the sooner we accept the contributions of this, could sometimes refer to as the third sector, the third sector actors, to the broader national agenda, particularly in the areas of economic growth, political discourse, and social development. The easier and more fulfilling our job of serving our constituents will be. I want to take this opportunity to employ all members of Parliament to join in the acknowledgement and the participation of civil society in the work we do in the House. You know, you don't know how I won all my elections. Can you read this for free? <laughs> Early in the election year, I do credible tip stick in my constituency. That gives me an idea of what is on the ground. The people never know who is doing the research. No. Everybody will classify the organization or something. So I give it to some academia and they go around behind not having any name like your organization or whatever. And so the people are prepared to talk to them. But they are not coming as Saint Ghana, or you are not coming as Ide or Imani. You know the prejudice that we all have. So you come as an academia doing a research, trying to write some article or something for university, and people are prepared to sit with you and talk to so get to know what is on the ground. And I start working on it. Two society organizations live with the people. And so it's a better barometer. It's a better instrument to, to really get a feel of what the people you present have. And so I once again want to urge all of you to welcome them in your daily activities daily activities. We all know the recent global threat to democracy and attacks on democratic rule in Africa, particularly in West Africa. We are aware of media's reports on many, many activities in our countries. What I can do is to try to encourage civil society organizations, more of you, to get in touch, because you can better sing our songs than ourselves.